Pope Warren's cancel culture is a form of ideological colonization. No <laughs> On January way. 10th, Pope Francis spoke against the growing trend of cancel culture, calling it one track thinking that can alter accounts of past historical events. The Pope's comments came after a draft of the European Union communications manual titled Union of Equality was released last October. Uh, the 30 page guide aims to create more gender neutral language in support of the LGBTQ community. The guide also suggests the use of inclusive languages regarding holidays such as Christmas. The Pope stated that these attempts at sidelining Christian languages are a form of, quote, <laughs> a form of ideological colonization, one that leaves no room for freedom of expression. While the Pope did not use any specific cancel culture examples, he insisted that history must be interpreted in the context of its own time. Cardinal Pietro Parolin stated that Europe owes its identity to Christianity and the cancellation of its roots is, quote unquote, against reality. You read that last part again. And Europe owes its what? Europe owes its identity to Christianity, and the cancellation through, of its roots is against reality. I mean, through colonization, though, right? Uh, Christian <laughs> through Christianity spreading through sir. colonization. <laughs> sir, how dare you? Uh, oh, I guess I got them. Like it's like. Do I need to even state the obvious? The, the fact that the Pope, the representative of the Catholic Church, is using the word colonization? Like, do you not know? Like, okay, if you bring up, like, if you say, isn't this the second time he's calling something colonization? Didn't we have a similar story? So it kind of corresponds. We talked about when this um, document was leaked and there was all this outcry. And this is when um, Pope Francis was talking. Right. He didn't say the war on Christmas, but he was t talking about like people trying to kind of like cancel Christmas. Um, and and but recently he, huh. he had another speech where he actually used the word in English cancel culture. In an Italian speech, he's saying this in English several times. So he was like really insisting on the cancel culture of it all. And a lot of people okay, were but, reflecting on that other incident. I mean, the level of self-awareness is below zero here. <laughs> like you are the head of the Catholic Church. Call it, like nobody has done like you're talking about words and like people like so like you have an opinion. You're like, oh, I'm gonna be a transphobe or like a homophobe. And people are like that is wrong. And you're calling that, oh, cancel culture is coming for us. And that's colonization. Really? Words disagreeing with you are colonization. People are saying happy holidays instead of Merry Christmas. You're calling that colonization from the people that are that have done colonization. They are, if you look up the word colonization on a dictionary, you see the the, a picture of the Vatican. Like they have an image <laughs> of the Vatican is like, and there's nothing else. There's no other words. This is a picture of the Vatican. It's just like right there. And these they're talking people, about, oh they're talking God. about cancel culture. And in my mind, I'm just like s visions of like Spanish inquisition, like burning people at the stake. Like yeah. you, these are, you your 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 church mass murdered people in the name of colonization and you're like oh you're you, oh we're being colonized because people are telling us that we're bigots and that we're like intolerant like oh this is called this is called, we're being colonized you know what you should actually be colonized people should come and invade the vatican it's over like that's like i actually call i am encouraging a real colonization of the vatican it's over italy sometimes oh something oh my god i have this troll here again He's oh my god the loving hindutva troll is back armin yeah, i love you i love you beautiful navabi please let me express my deep love for you please don't break <laughs> our love <laughs> okay i you know if you posted that one time i wouldn't ban you you posted it like nine times so i have to ban you you could become you could come here and troll if you don't just spam the live chat with it 
What it would be easier. You, yeah, you keep making like ten accounts to come do this, uh, send the same message. You wouldn't have to keep making accounts if you just posted one time. Anyways, uh, wait. I want to yeah. read more of his full comments because this was pretty funny. In his remarks on Monday, Francis warm, warned of a form of ideological colonization, one that leaves no room for freedom of expression and is now taking the form of cancel culture, invading many circles and in public institutions. He used the two words in English in the midst of a long speech in Italian. Quote, the cancel culture controversy is particularly sharp in English speaking countries such as the U.S. and Britain. This risk this risked canceling identity, quote, under the guise of defending diversity, Francis said, adding that a kind of one-track thinking is taking shape, one that constrained to deny history or worse yet, rewrite it in terms of present day categories. Um, okay, one-track thinking. First of all, you have a history of burning people alive for not thinking your way. One, can you like mention that? Second of all, um, and guys, I'm not... I'm not doing what aboutism, okay? Because what aboutism is when somebody points to something else and tries to use an, that as an excuse to say why this is allowed, okay? These are the same people, okay? This is like pointing hip hop. This is like what aboutism? Like you have people have to be able to say tell the difference between what aboutism and calling out hypocrisy, okay? These are the same. This is the same institution, okay? And if you say okay, well that was back then. First of all, we'll mention it. We were like, oh, we were actually the OG colonizers, and we did like we didn't do it with words. We were like very a lot more aggressive about it. We burned people alive. And second of all, you still do one track of think one track thinking. What happens to people within the Catholic Church who disagree with the Orthodox way of thinking? There's a name for that. What does it? What do you call that? Like you, you're an ex-Catholic. What is it called when you bring up like uh, excommun? Oh yeah, you excommunicate people. Is that what it's called? Yeah, you ex yeah. one track thinking. One track thinking. Don't you? Don't they excommunicate and everybody, every priest that is not like speaking in their officially approved way? Isn't that the same? And again, we're not talking about history. We're talking about now. You're doing this now. One track thinking. Are you are you out of your mind? And also one track thinking like nobody when what these people call cancel culture is actually being called out. Nobody's shutting you. Like people are just pointing out that you are bigots. That's what you're pointing out. Oh my God. There's more spam than I need to. Where's music guy when we need to? Okay, I banned this guy. All right, cool. There's well, a lot of spam. communication thing, and it's it's uh to get excommunicated for like a heterodox opinion would have to be probably someone who's in leadership to get something like that. If you're just a lay member who has some weird ideas, like you would have to be doing something pretty extreme to actually get excommunicated. Um, yeah, but still, the leaders offend, uh, sins are uh, there's only like seven of them that can immediately. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about people. I'm talking about the leaders. Like the fact oh, that okay. they have to. There's no room for independent thinking and original thought. You have to think within this way that the Catholic Church approves, or else you get kicked out. Also, another point is like uh, apparently the the Pope has to join everyone else that doesn't understand what free speech means okay why is this such a simple concept why is everybody such a moron about this including the pope this is such a simple idea it's not against your free speech <laughs> when people tell you that your ideas are shit when your ideas are being called out as shitty ideas nobody is violating your free speech do you not understand how free speech works Free speech means that you get to be, you get to have shitty ideas and you get to tell people your shitty ideas. And we get to, our free speech also allows us to tell you like, hey, nice idea that you, ha you have out there. It would be a shame if we call it out for being shitty, which we're about to do. And oops, we just did it. That's my free speech to call out your idea as a shitty idea. That's also my free speech. That is not against your free speech. That is not violating your free speech. Anyways, well, wait, they, don't worry about the trolls. Here. I block them before you do. But, Thank um, you. uh, man, you crack me up. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. I love how this is like over a, a document that went out where they basically said, like, hey, don't assume that everyone's a Christian. Not everyone celebrates Christmas. Okay. And also, like, Here's some language you can use to just like 
you know, consider the LGBT community. And they're like, yeah. you're denying Europe's Christian roots. This is against reality. And it is going to cause the collapse of civilization. Mm. And also Christian, Europe's Christian roots is, is everything wrong with Europe. <laughs> okay. Uh, Christianity is good, not because of Christianity. Uh, Europe is like anything great about Europe is because of it. It's fighting Christianity. Every the enlightenment, they the the age of enlightenment, which is responsible for making Europe um, a lot more progressive and advanced than many other places in, around the world, is it was because it was a fight in direct, um, in a, a direct attack at at not Christianity and organized religion as a whole. Okay, so yeah, people stepping up against your ideas is. And against your way of thinking is what made Christianity better, uh, Europe better than the rest of the world. Not, not, not the Christian. You know, and in fact, in fact, the re it would have progressed a lot faster if it wasn't for the Catholic Church, right? Um, yeah. So, Christian roots, and uh, yeah, like also like oh, we're being oppressed because people are saying Happy Holidays. First of all, nobody's going to stop you from saying Merry Christmas. Like I can't believe like the Pope has went to Fox level, Fox News level. Like yeah, this is like this you is know Fox News. Yeah, like it, when when the Pope is now speaking has the same narratives as Fox News. You know, like and this is this is the Pope that atheists want, wanted to celebrate. Like did we not did we not call this out? Were we not right about this? Like people are like, oh my God, this Pope is amazing. Finally, a Pope that we atheists can love and like celebrate. Like we're like, really, really now? Come on. And now we were yeah. like, we were right. We were right as usual. Okay. So <laughs> next time, just come here and just subscribe to our, just subscribe to our YouTube channels and just, you know, you don't, then you will be less. You the more anyways, videos, to be honest. the more, the more you watch me and Susie, the less more earnick you're going to be. Okay. So you're, that you're... reminds me, please make sure to like this video, you guys. Yeah. I've been having a lot of fun today. I think that deserves a like. It takes less than a second. You yes. can smash it or you can do it gently. Do not smash it because we're not going to refund anybody who breaks their phone. Okay. <laughs> so just lightly tapping it is good enough. Okay. If you break um, your keyboard, that's on you. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.